Welcome into the Greater Texas Ford Dealers inaugural Female Athlete of the Month. From Texarkana to El Paso, the Panhandle to San Angelo, the Permian Basin to East Texas, Waco, Wichita Falls to Lubbock, and many points in between. We celebrate the remarkable achievements of female high school athletes based on performances on and off the field and courts. From Class 6A to private schools, it's the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Joining me now, the record-breaking Jace Chisholm of six-man football powerhouse, Jayton. She's the Class 1A Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Well, so great to celebrate you, Jace. What did you think when you heard that you were the best in Texas? I mean, I was shocked. I mean, even being nominated for this is just like a great honor, and, and winning it is just incredible. I'm so excited to be here. What a year you have had. And by the way, you're only a sophomore and you're doing this at such a young age. To think that almost every time you run, you are setting a record. It is extraordinary. I mean, you've done it in the 1600, the 3200. I know you're just trying to go fast, but when you look at back at what you've been able to do with all these record-breaking performances, have you realized what a big deal this is? I mean, it kind of hit me um at the gram meet earlier in the year when I first broke the record for the 3200 um it's just been really cool especially seeing all the support from the community members and my family and my teammates from cross country and basketball I mean it's just been really really cool and fun yeah, and you think about that uh, relay you talked about in Graham, Texas. You are up against all the major schools as well. Very rare that a Class 1A girl is able to blow away the competition when you had all those big school girls. Are you just fearless being able to do something like that? I mean, I was so excited going into that because um, from my times from cross country, I just really wanted to see what I could do um, on a track without any hills or in good conditions and the weather was perfect that day um, and I have so much respect for all the other runners that were there um, but that was really good for me to get to compete and actually see what I could do with competition um, and I think that just made me better as a runner because after that I was like I can do this I can I can be better um, than how I was last year um, so I really think that really lit a fire in me um, and really is going to help me throughout the year. Well, it's definitely working for you. And, you know, I think about all these records that you're breaking. One of the coolest is the one held by your aunt. And, and I don't want to date her, uh, but it was two decades ago and it was in the two mile. Uh, what was that like to kind of keep that in the family? And does she even talk to you anymore after breaking her all time record? <laughs> um, I don't know what her actual feelings were, but she was very happy for me when she texted me. Um, I think she was glad that she was passing the torch down to someone in the family. Um, and I just thought that was cool that the record still is under the Coulter name or whatever. Um, but yeah, that, that was really cool. Did you have any idea that you'd have a shot at that? Were you looking to, to break that record? I was. Going into that meet, um, I, actually, I actually was looking at it on the way up there and I had a goal in mind. Um, and that really also helped push me at that Graham meet. You're so good at these long distances, and it's so grueling. I mean, most of the time when kids do track and field, they want no part of the really long races. I know it's so mental. How do you prepare yourself, and what's your strategy when you're going these long distances to be at your peak at the most important part of the race? Um, Probably just all the support. Uh, my grandpa likes to stand. He stands at the same part of every race, and he always – he tells me to not feel sorry for myself is what he says every time I pass him. Um, and so then I just think about it and I'm like, this is all a mental game. It's not just physical, it's mental. Um, and so that really helps me, um, especially seeing all the support from everywhere. Um, my family, the community, the coaches, the staff, um, just all of Jayton. Um, I'm so honored to be able to grow up in a community that is so loving and supporting of me. Um, so really the, the mental aspect is helped a lot by the community. How do you get yourself so mentally tough? Because I know when I run a long distance, I'm always looking at that tree over there going, that'd be a great place to stop. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> I like to I like to set goals for myself. Um, and it's hard. Uh, but running against such great athletes, um, and really just competing with myself and them really helps me a lot. And again, like I said, I I want to better myself for me and for the name of Jayton, um, and just our school as a whole. Um, so that really helps push me mentally. It really seems like you have some great runners out there. Uh, I guess you have to because you gotta get you gotta go so far to get anywhere. You, you're kind of out there in the middle of nowhere. Uh, talk about your team. Your team went on to win silver as well, and, and really a state championship contender. How much do you feed off of your teammates when you think about the team competition? Um, I truly love every single one of those girls. Um, I I really look up to all of them, and I have something to learn from all of them, especially my sister. Uh, she's a senior this year. Um, and just getting to run with her and against her uh, these past two years in high school has been amazing. And being able to to feed off of her success um, and seeing the examples of leadership that she sets for the team, um, has it's just been great to be able to follow in her footsteps. And you play multiple sports with your older sister uh, daily. Talk about how much you enjoy doing that and uh, playing basketball and all these different sports with her and competing at such a high level. We definitely have our moments, um, like all sisters do. But it is it has been so much fun being able to share the court with her um, and being able to run against her and with her. And she pushes me to be the best version of myself. Um, just from me being able to watch the examples that she set um, these past two or her past four years, I guess, in high school. I love that picture that your mom sent where it, it's kind of like uh, the two sisters Chisholm playing defense at the same time on one player. I, I mean, that is pretty scary stuff for the opposition. <laughs> How much do you pride yourself on defense with your sister out there? Because it's like a, like an ironclad wall. Nobody's getting by you guys. <laughs> being able to press with her is so much fun um and just really playing basketball ball with her uh, she is a phenomenal athlete and um being able to learn with her defensively and offensively um and playing with her not just in the game or practicing with her um has really helped me improve myself so much I think about all the sports you play, and I get tired just thinking about it. I need to take a knee. Track, tennis, hoops, golf, academics, you show pigs, you do it all. Uh, how do you make all this happen when you're juggling all these different sports and, and they collide as well uh, a little bit and all the practices and be a good student at the same time? Um, I think that's one of the great things about a small school um, is I really get to try everything and see what things I love, what things I don't. Uh, one of the things that helps juggle practices um, is definitely my coach, Coach Blacker. He, he's always texting me asking what I have that day and when I can fit a workout in. And he makes it really easy for me to schedule uh, my track workouts around everything else that goes on in the spring, which is very tough to do, but he makes he makes my life so much easier when it comes to uh, scheduling practices. Well, Coach Blacker, he's the one that nominated you for this honor, and he goes on and on about your dedication and your work ethic and just what a great kid you are, and he's blessed to coach you. Uh, how much has he meant to you in your athletic career? <laughs> he truly means the world. Um, he pushes me to be my best. Uh, he sets some very high unrealistic goals for me but it makes me so much better a better athlete um and again like i said just how uh how flexible he is with when i work out when it's best for me um truly helps me so much well so many kids out there the focus is on gaming and their ipads uh but not you you know you balance all of these different sports and you're a straight a student why is there such a focus in the classroom for you um, I feel like it's just one of the obligations that I have to set an example for the younger kids, um, that you can, you can be an athlete and you can be good in the classroom and you can be smart and you can be really anything that you want to be. Um, and I think that's so important just to set those examples for the younger kids, because those eyes are always on us high schoolers. Well, I know everybody looks up to you in that community. Uh, and, you know, you work on, you obviously work really hard at your craft, 
Uh, you know, you have the mental side of all this. And you also deal with the food, something a lot of people don't deal with. I think all your classmates think you eat salad all day long. Is that true? <laughs> no, they always joke with me about that. I swear, I don't just eat salads. Some might say that. <laughs> but... <laughs> How important has diet been for you to just get your body right so you have the fuel to be the great athlete that you're doing? A lot of uh, the nutrition stuff comes from my grandmother. Uh, she's always, or ever since I remember, she has taken her nutrition very seriously. She's very plant-based. Um, and I decided to try to clean up my eating, I think, the summer of my freshman year. So about two years ago. And I saw great improvement in athletics, how I felt all the time. Um, and so that has just become something very important to me, especially in the season. I'm a lot more strict about it. Um, but it is just the way that I've seen it improve myself um, has just made me want to to really drill down and, and try to be the best that I can be. I think about all your accolades. And one that really jumps out at me is the fact that you had a science project that won a state championship. You're so active with the FFA. And you went to a national event with that same project and ended up as a national runner up with the FFA. Tell me about the project and what it was that you won over those judges. Um, so actually, I did that project with my cousin. Um, his parents, which is the one who I broke the record of his aunt or my aunt, um, they own a greenhouse. And so we were in the plant systems competition. And so we did these experiments with rose moss. Um, and so I think the whole family aspect going into that project really helped win the judges over a lot. Um, but going to Indiana and being able to compete at that level was very cool. And it was a great experience that I learned a lot from. Plant based. See, there you are. You're just, uh, <laughs> your projects are salads and you eat salads all day. It's always salad with you, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh man amazing well you know your mom talks about how you have more discipline than any kid she's ever known talk about your mom and dad and all the sacrifices they make to make sure that you and your two sisters get to all these events on time and have this opportunity to be the best in texas i am so grateful for both of them um going to track meets and cross-country meets and really anything that i compete at my mom is always making sure that I have some food option, whether homemade or she's having to drive somewhere to pick something up. Um, she's always making sure that I have what I need as well as my sisters. Um, my dad, he's also my basketball coach, um, which has, has its moments, but he really, <laughs> he really pushes me to be better. Um, and I am so grateful for the relationship that I have with both of them. Um, I feel like they've both been coaching me my whole life, um, and I'm really, really grateful for them. That is funny. It's almost like a blessing and a curse at the same time. <laughs> With your dad being the head basketball coach, right? Is he really rough on you? Is it some tough love out there? <laughs> yes, definitely some tough love, for sure. <laughs> Well, you're the middle of the three daughters, and you talked about Daly earlier, uh, and, you know, she is such a decorated track athlete as well, and how much do you follow what she's been able to do? I know you were in one event where, you know, you zoomed in, and you were, you know, you were able to medal, and, and uh, nobody realized that you were just one second behind her, and everybody was focusing on the girl that she was passing to get herself a medal, and there you were zipping right in behind her. That was that was really, really fun. I believe that was at the state track meet. Um, I just I remember I saw her kick in the last 150 meters of the mile and I saw that she had a chance to go for the third place medal. Um, and so I just kicked with her. Um, but that, that was such a fun trip. Uh, really running with daily has has been such a blessing. Um, she is she is amazing. She's a phenomenal athlete, and I am so thankful for the relationship that I have with her and just how much that she's been able to push me uh, throughout these years. We talked about basketball, but there's also doubles in tennis and uh, a state qualifier, the two of you are. Uh, talk about that and how much you enjoy playing tennis together. 
again, it has its moments. We don't <laughs> always get along. Um, but yeah, again, I, I learn a lot from my sister and I truly would not be the athlete that I am without following in her footsteps. Um, but just seeing all the examples that she set throughout the year, just the kindness that she shows the community and her teammates um, and her coaches is, is truly amazing. And I, I look up to her so much. It's not often that you see someone as young as you that can be a leader out there. How have you been able to gain the trust of other people to be able to lead? Um, I think it's really important to not hold myself up on a pedestal. I, I am not better than anybody else. I, um, I'm not above anybody else. I am their teammate and I have so much to learn from everybody on our team. Um, no matter what team that is, whether it's golf or a uh, track or cross country, basketball, whatever, I have so much to learn from all of them. Um, and I just, I think it's very important to remember that, that they are all phenomenal athletes. Um, and, and just to continue to learn something from each one of them, no matter what it is, whether it's to be more kind, more passionate, more faithful, um, it is just really important to to learn from them so they can learn from me as well. So well said. And I think about, you know, your other events that you're so good at. In golf, you're a district champion. It almost seems like kind of a hobby on the side. You're great in that too. How are you good in golf? Because you need so much time in practice uh, to be great in that sport for most people. And yet you're able to pull it off while doing all these other sports. <laughs> I think... I think that's one of the blessings of, of being at a school like Jayton uh, with the coaches like in the staff that Jayton has. Just, just They really try hard um, to make, make time and make space for everything. Uh, they all have respect for each other's sports, which is so important for a school to have. Um, and I am so thankful for every single one of my coaches. Well, I think about your school. There's such a passion, obviously, a six-man football powerhouse. And I know it's really fun on Friday nights to be out there and supporting your school. But talk about that community. It's so tight-knit. How has it shaped you and your sisters? It is truly like a second family. Uh, the support that they give to every single part of the school, every program, athletics or not, um, is astounding to me. Um, and I'm so, so blessed to be in a community like that. Um, it has made me and my sisters much better people. It has made us realize that um, we are part of that community. We are part of those people who need to care and love on every single program, no matter what, what it is. Um, and just the school itself um, has truly just been amazing to be able to grow up in. Well, being a sophomore, you don't have to make any decisions right now. But if you had to, and in thinking about playing in the next level in college, do you see yourself playing? I mean, you're one of those rare athletes that could probably get scholarships in academics as well as athletics. But if you could pick one sport that you wanted to play in college, what would it be? Um, That's a tough one. Um, I think running would be cool. But again, I still have two more years left and who knows what I'll love in the next few years by the end of it. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what, we'll see what comes. So I know you've been able to show pigs over the years. Tell me about that. And what do you enjoy about that sport? Okay. So that's actually a funny story. Um, I did that once and I don't remember, remember what grade I was in, but I was actually about to go show the pig in the state in the sale. So I'd already done the showing and everything, but we were going to go to the sale and it broke its leg like five <laughs> minutes before I was supposed to go show it. And I never got to. So all that practice in trying to, I mean, you it's rough working with those beasts, right? Yes. I mean, you practiced yes. a lot leading up to that. <laughs> yes, I did. I, I didn't take it to heart though. It, it was just something I was doing for fun. Um, but it, it did. It, it was kind of sad that I had I had done all that work and then he just didn't make it through. Oh, well, well, there's a lot of bacon out of that. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we won't get into that. Um, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of your coaches talk about 
um, you know, just what an unselfish person you are. And you always try to make everybody around you better. Uh, where does that drive and passion come from? Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's it's just from the example set before me. Um, my older cousin, her name's Coulter. Uh, she set such a great example of of leadership and hard work, um, and showing kindness and compassion to her teammates, um, as well as my older sister. Um, so just the example set before me really has shaped me into the person that I am. Well, Jay, so fun to chat with you and celebrate your accolades. Really going to be fun to see what you do in the future. Congratulations on being your Greater Texas Ford Dealers Class 1A Female Athlete of the Month. Thank you. Your Greater Texas Ford Dealers is so proud to recognize the hard work, dedication, perseverance, and passion of so many Texas high school female athletes who inspire us all. Here's this month's winners. And don't forget, you can see their interviews at Greater TX Ford for Greater Texas Ford Dealers. From Class 1A to 6A, plus private schools, we celebrate them all. Thanks so much for watching the Greater Texas Ford Dealers inaugural Female Athlete of the Month. See you next time.